Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and this is All Things Kay and I wanna thank you so much for joining me on another video. Well, I've been gone, I know. It's been a whole ass year and a half since I've been gone. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a beautiful baby boy in January of 2023. And uh, yeah, life has been lifing. I am still currently on mat leave and I'm enjoying every minute of it. But that's a whole other story. Let's get into why I'm here. You know I had to bring you a haul. It is the Sephora holiday sales event. I love me a Sephora haul. I am binge watching all the hauls and I'm hoping not to spend any more. I got a nice little haul here, not as big as I, can go because you know budgeting mat leave <laughs> if you're like me you love the sephora sale you love beauty you love makeup i mean that's probably why you're watching this video is because you're binge watching all the sephora haul videos so i did a little damage so if you are interested in seeing what i picked up from the Sephora holiday sale for 2023. Stay tuned and keep watching. So as you know, the Sephora sale started on October 27th for Rouge members and then started on October 31st for VIB and Insider. So everyone can shop currently. It's currently November 1st when I'm filming this. And the code to use is time to save. So let's jump into this haul. The first thing I picked up was the Necessaire gel deodorant right here i got it in the eucalyptus scent this is probably my third one um, it's a natural deodorant and it also helps with the darkening under my arms this is what it looks like now this deodorant burns especially after you shave Ooh, does it burn and when i was pregnant i could not use this this would not work for me hormones running through my body i needed all the aluminum so <laughs> this is a natural deodorant no aluminum in it and currently it's the only natural deodorant that works for me. Next, I picked up the Topicals Brightening Clear Serum. That's what it looks like. I have some dark marks that I really, I'm trying to fade. So I haven't tried this before, so I picked this one up. This is what it looks like. Just to try it out. There we go. Um, and see if it works. Okay, I got two fragrances for this sale because I love fragrances. One of them my husband did purchase for me. Um, I fell in love with the sample and he said he would get it for me. So I was like, let's get it during the sale. Don't get it now. So I finally got that one and that is Burberry Goddess. Oh, I love this scent. But look at this bottle. The girlies are right. Everyone's raving about this scent for good reason. And I love it. So I picked up the 50 mils and let me look up the notes. So this is a warm and spicy, warm, that's fragrance family. Scent type is warm and sweet gourmand. Key notes are vanilla infusion, vanilla caviar, and vanilla absolute. And I am a vanilla girl, so this, is just perfect. Top notes is a vanilla infusion with woody tonalities and a heart notes of vanilla caviar with a rich sweetness. And at the base, vanilla absolute enriched with luminous lavender. Now I'm someone that's not a big lavender fan, but this is so overpoweringly vanilla that it doesn't bug me. This is oh, such a sexy, warm, perfect for this season scent. Oh, I am so happy to have it in the, my collection. And again, if I didn't say this is the 50 ml bottle. The next scent that I picked up was from KLE. She came out with the Oud collection. So I picked up the KLE Oud Vanilla Intense. This is what it looks like. And this is the sample size. And this is vanilla sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, oat musk, and oud. I'm not a big fan of white musk, but in this one, I can tolerate it. It's not as pronounced. And I don't have much fragrances with oud. And I have to like research what oud is supposed to smell like because I really don't know. But I love the way this one smells. It has definitely smelled of vanilla. I can smell a little bit of that white musk and there's a woody scent to it so i'm wondering if that's the oak moss that's giving it that woody smell but definitely a nighttime 
date night sexy fragrance i really really like this one so i picked up the travel size in this one because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it none of the other ones seem appealing to me like the rose one doesn't seem appealing to me the cafe one doesn't seem appealing to me but definitely the vanilla because again i am a vanilla girly i love vanilla scents now i picked up a few makeup items i picked up one palette that has been on my wish list that i've been going back and forth whether i want it or not but it was on sale when the sale started so i got even um more of a sale so i picked it up finally because i have been eyeing it it's not a new palette it is the natasha denona uh this is the my dream palette now i was going back and forth with this one because i was wondering if it was close to the retro palette and this is what it looks like i'm sure you guys have seen it but this has been on my wish list because i love these burgundy tones like this is me in a palette i'm glad i have it i'm glad i picked it up and i'm glad it's on sale now i think natasha denona is coming out of sephora canada because a lot of her new launches are not on there from the i need a nude her new concealer all of that stuff is not on sephora canada anymore i think i can only get it from her website or beautylish and her website shipping is a lot i'm kind of mad that she's coming out of sephora canada because who yeah, I think you have to spend like 150 Canadian before you get free shipping. What? So I do want to try her concealer, but I'll probably pick it up from Beautylish because I don't have to pay all that shipping at Beautylish. Dream so. palette. It is lovely. Let me compare it to the retro palette, which I have here. Yeah, the retro palette is more pink. I think it's more pink. There's a couple burgundy shades in it, but to me, they're close. Definitely close one is really pink the retro is really pink so i'm glad to finally pick it up especially since it was on sale and then i got 20 percent off it was a great deal so that's the only palette i picked up there's a few that i'm looking at currently but i don't think i'm going to shop anymore famous last words <laughs> i can't guarantee no guarantee another makeup item that i picked up is from the nessa myricks this is what it looks like now this is her blurring buddies so you got the blur the universal blurring bomb powder and a blurring bomb blush all right so i got the box open so it opens like this and look at this blush this blush is like all the rave all the girlies love this pink blush this is an it girl and i do have one of her blushes that i picked up from the spring sale and i really like the texture of these bomb blushes that's the color right there and then I've heard nothing but good things about the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I guess this one is universal, so most people have been using it like a primer. And then the tinted ones you can use as an all-over foundation. Kind of like that no makeup makeup look from what I understand. I am not that no makeup makeup look girl. I want a full beat. I love full coverage. I, that's just me. But I'm glad I got this to try it out as a primer under my foundations and this blush looks gorgeous and i thought it was a cute set a lot of the sets are really really good this year the next product that i picked up from the sephora sale is by nars this is the nars holiday cheek palette this is the all that glitters light reflecting cheek palette and i have one other cheek palette from nars it is the afterglow cheek palette i think this was last year or the year before i can't remember but I picked it up last year and look at it. It is so pretty. I love every color in there. Every color works for me. And I don't think there's any repeats in, in this palette. I didn't really check because I wanted to try this formula. This seems to be the baked gelée formula. Let me see. Any of these the same? Nope. So no repeats in here. And the formula is totally different. Ooh. Yes, this looks like something I am going to love to play with. So this is what it looks like. So it comes with, it looks like one, two, three, four, five blushes and a highlight. And I think this one can be like a blush topper on my complexion. Hoping that this baked jelly is not, like doesn't show texture. Some of these jelly formulas can sometimes show texture on the cheek and i have texture but 
I'm so excited to have this, so excited to dip into it because I do really, really like the NARS now, palette. Now the next palette that I picked up that I didn't pick up from Sephora is the Hourglass palette and that's because I want it customized. The dark shade had the snake on the cover. She don't do snakes. They, I don't want them in my drawer. I don't want a cartoon snake. I don't want nothing to do with snakes. So I definitely had to get it customized because I really wanted the palette. So I customized it with the leopard. So this is palette number three, which is the darkest one. And I have two of the blushes and the highlighter on today. This is what it looks like. And I just wanted to show you guys that I have been using it now. Oh, and I have the... Radiant Light is the only repeat shade and I have that in the bigger one and I used it to buff my face. That glow that you see going on is from that powder. And then the highlighter is the strobe light in here which is called um, Metallic Strobe Powder Infinite Strobe Light. That's this one, that's what's on the cheek. And then I have these two blushes in the middle on my cheek and I like this one better than last year's the tiger palette the tiger palette is right here and I find it's more terracotta orange and I I like my peachy pinks that's just me <laughs> so oh did I just chip it no I didn't I'm trying to hold these up for you guys there we go so those are the two palettes this is last year's tiger palette and this is this year's um the original sh uh snake palette but like i said i ain't doing that so i did go through hourglass i think i got 10 percent off at that time and i was able to customize and get the leopard print now shipping from hourglass took forever it did i, I was wondering if my palette got lost or whatever but it did take forever but I didn't have to pay any duties or anything like that. I just paid up front and that was it. No surprises when it got here. Now I got some stuff from the Sephora collection which is 30% off for everybody, every tier in this sale. I got the Sephora Velour Makeup Puff right there. I wanted to give that a try. And then I got two lashes. I got Swanky and Daring. So these lashes I've heard are really good quality. If you watch um, Tayera Brown, she loves these lashes. I'm not sure. I think the one that she likes was Charming. I think that was the name of the one she liked, but I picked up these two. I think these two would fit my eye shape really nicely and 30% off, I am gonna give them a try. And the last two things are skincare. I picked up the Fenty Little Butter Drops Mini Whipped Oil Cream Trio. This is my favorite body oil, the original one favorite body body oil body butter lord i haven't recorded in forever uh favorite body butter and i get to smell the other scents because i haven't smelled the other scents so i know what this one smells like so let me open this one so this is the warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream Ooh, this sounds decadent oh this is sweet this is definitely cinnamony what fragrance would this go good with? I think the, the there's a KLE fragrance, the Amber, what is it called? Shoot, it's gonna bug me. The KLE Invite Only Amber 23. I think this would go really, really nice with it because it does have the Benzoin and it has the Ceylon Cinnamon. So this mix with that Amber 23, if you have it, Oh, I think this is going to be great with that, but this is really, really sweet. If you don't like sweet scents, you may not like this one, but I love sweet scents, so I am happy to have that. Now I'm wondering if I need to pick up the big one in this. Ooh. So this one here is Vanilla Dream Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream. Now this one is really mild. Let me put some of this on. Yeah, it's really mild. It's not as strong vanilla. It's not as strong as the cinnamon. The cinnamon one is really, really sweet smelling. But this one, yeah, it kind of reminds me of the original scent in the sense that it's not a strong scent on it. It's a mild scent. This one definitely smells a little bit more tropical. Oh, now I can't open it because I just put it on my hand. Jeez. Yeah, this one smells fruitier, tropical, more tropical than the vanilla one. 
The vanilla one I wouldn't go after in a full size. I, it's aight. I would go after these two. I have a backup of this and I'm using one of these now, but now I'm thinking I need this one because I'm just thinking for this season, for Christmas season, just smelling just cozy and nice and sweet and oh, I think this gourmand scent, oh. This is gonna be perfect for the holiday season. So anyhow, the last thing I got was a skincare set and this is from Tatcha. And this is the Dewy Skin Essential, which if you don't know, my skin type is normal combo in the summer, but hella dry in our Canadian cold winters and it is cold. It's like minus two degrees Celsius right now. It is cold outside. So my skin gets really, really dry. And I don't like, as a dry girl, I like matte foundations i don't know why but i do so that means my skin underneath really needs all the moisture from my skincare because i am going to go in with matte foundation i'm going to go with velvet matte i'm going to go with powders that's just me so i really need moisture especially in this time and i am currently using the rose the fresh rose moisturizer love that but I've also had a sample of this cream and I've always had it in my loves list to pick up in the full size eventually. But I have so much nice moisturizers. I use the Belief one, the Moisture Balm. I use the Rose Fresh Moisturizer. I use the Holy Hendrickson, the Plumping Peptide one in the purple bottle. I'll link a picture of all the ones that I'm talking about here. And this set, it's a... Canadian, $113, um, $113, but the value is $161. And I was going to buy the, the rice wash on its own, which is my favorite, favorite face wash. But I've been using other stuff, some drugstore stuff, some samples. I've been using that, and that's fine. The washes, I really love the rice wash, but I don't always want to purchase it for that price. So I figured to pick up the set. You do get a good size. This is a deluxe size. And let me tell you, this is going to last a long time because I'm not going to use it every day because I'm using other moisture um, face washes. And you need the tiniest amount. The first time I got this, I put a whole bunch out and let me tell you, it was just too much. So I know this is going to last a good time and maybe the next sale I'll pick up the big one. But this set, I have to pick up. So it comes with this. And then this I've never tried, the Dewy Serum. That just sounds like a dry skin girl's dream. So this is a uh, deluxe size of the Dewy Serum right here. And then the moisturizer, the Dewy Skin Cream, which I know I love. I've never had a full size. I just love Tasha's packaging. And it comes with the little spatula on top. And this is what it looks like right there. It's kind of like a light purple. And what also came in the Tatcha set is this um, wrap. This is called a, oh boy, for Foroshuki, Foroshuki cloth wrap, which is a part of gift giving in Japan for centuries. So you can use it to wrap certain things. Right there, let me open this up and see how it is. So yeah, so that came in the Tatcha, Tatcha set. That's what that looks like. I don't think I'm going to use that to wrap any gifts, but it's 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 nice to be included in the set. Now, some of the samples that I got, I got the Barogio Scalp Revival Coconut and Charcoal Micro Exfoliating Shampoo and the um, Charcoal Tea Tree Cooling Hydrating Scalp Mask. And then I also got the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream 24 Hour Lightweight Hydrating Formula with 4.5% squalene and glacial glycoprotein. Hmm. I've heard a lot about this brand Kiehl's. So I got that sample. And then I also hear a lot about the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. So I got a sample of that, which I'm excited to try. My favorite cleansing balm is, of course, the um, pharmacy one. And I have one more of the trio set ones that I got a couple, like a year, last year holiday, they had a trio set. I got that one. And I still have one more full bottle that's not open yet. So I'm going to give this a try. And if I like it, I will buy this one. So that is my Sephora holiday savings haul. 
I think I got some nice stuff. I do have one more haul coming, but those are like Christmas gifts. Those are Christmas gifts, so I won't be showing that. I'm hoping that's only Christmas gifts and I don't put anything else in the cart. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. Um, but I mean, it's November 1st and we still have six more days. So no guarantees. If I do buy some other stuff, I will come back and maybe do a try on haul with some of the stuff that I got. Like I'll probably use the the NARS palette and the Natasha Denona I Need a Dream palette with anything else, if I pick up anything else. But I'm gonna come back and do some videos, maybe do a chit chat, get ready with me, life update. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you're shopping the sale. Let me know if you got any of these things. Let's just chat in the comment section. And I am so glad that you stopped in to join me to check out what I picked up. I miss you guys. I'm always on Instagram. I'm watching everyone's video. I, I, I'm a YouTube girly. I, I do have a TikTok and I do have Instagram, but I feel like I'm a YouTube girly. That's where I feel most comfortable. Um, for the holidays, no, for the spring saving sale, I did do a TikTok haul. So if you want to check out what I got then, head over to my TikTok at All Things K and check that out. But that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, please thumbs up the video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.